It's time for the master of masters, la creme de la creme, the king of all sim games. That's right, The Sims. This one specifically, the third. If you have never been a player of The Sims, there are so many games out there that almost mimic everything that goes on during gameplay. However, my sim experience began when I was younger and purchased The Sims 2 Double Deluxe Edition. I spent countless hours on that and with the expansions that followed. Now I had heard from many sources that if I enjoyed the older Sims to try out The Sims 3, so I recently did, and I am nothing short but satisfied. In The Sims 3, the customization of your character alone is none like before. The way you can change the faces positions of not only the cheekbones, nose, and mouth, but also that you can purchase custom hairstyles if your specific style is not there, just really makes this game hit the nail over virtual reality's head. Now when you purchase The Sims 3, you're given the option of registering to their network online. And when I did this, I was initially given 1,000 complimentary spending points. I bought a few various things from hairstyles, clothes, to diner seats for my future dining room. I absolutely love that they don't initially make you pay for this kind of thing and let you almost explore what you can purchase if you run out and decide that you want more later. After you're done creating your character, you're supposed to choose your house and now you have your own home sweet home. As I traveled to different areas such as the town's gym, I was able to interact with many other players who were just going along and doing their own thing. <laughs> As far as decorating your house goes, you can choose to make it bigger and bigger if you must. Also, you can add your own furniture and decor to any room. When making my own room, I went with the car bed, because it's a freaking sweet car bed. But also, I try and aim for a theme in each room, whether it's from classic to retro. I find the most enjoyment in games like this by decorating or having my sim use the objects I place in the house. For instance, I was making my sim play video games, and at first I was like, hey, I wonder what she's playing on the television screen. And then I see Madden, and shortly it switches to Skate, go figure, and many others. And to my surprise, it was really amusing watching a sim play video games, ironically enough. That aside, the user interface in this game is very easy to use. The graphics on such provide an easy to navigate feel, so you can set up the options that best suit you or so you can set up that new couch in your living room. Now for those of you who like to explore different areas in the games, you simply want to make do with your map button. There's a legend in your Sims handbook you receive with the game if you don't feel like hovering over the different icons to tell you the difference between a grocery store and criminal warehouse. Sims are wonderful people with their own unique language and style. If you players out there have never played a Sims game, do it. And for those who have this, try picking up the expansions if you don't already have them. I know I can't wait to get my hands on one in the future to expand my Sim horizon. Chabadu. Meep son. We my boo. Baluki Z.